I just shared a word about taking your seat. And you know, the thing about taking your seat means you've got to know who you are because somebody's going to come and tell you to get out of your seat. If you don't know who you are, you'll just jump out of it. Okay? You've got to know who you are to take your seat. Are you a modern day Moses? Well, if you're a modern day Moses, then you're going to lead multitudes. So you've got to stop giving in to fear. And if somebody comes up to you and says, okay, and says, Moses or John or David, you, you hurt somebody. See, the Egyptian came and said to Moses, you killed an Egyptian, you know. Okay. Now, Moses ran on that. Yeah, he had a little fear there. He ran to the backside until God said, okay, Moses, come back and take your place. Lead my people. Have you dealt enough with your fear? Okay. He had to be free from fear to lead God's people. But guess what? He forgot to deal with his anger issue. Uh Uh-oh. A Moses, every Moses I've ever ministered to and helped steward their gift, every Moses, they have to deal with their fear first to take their Moses position and lead multitudes. But then if they give in to anger, anger, what did Moses do? He hit the rock very end. He didn't get to go into the promised land. He, he carried them all the way, but was he frustrated at the end because of all their complaining and everything? Yeah, he was frustrated. Yeah, he was. Do we get frustrated? Yeah. But do you know, as a Moses, you have to deal with your anger issues because at the most critical moment, When it's time to cross into the promised land, what's the enemy going to do? He's going to have somebody come along that's going to trigger something and make you maybe overreact out of anger. God told Moses what to do, and he didn't do it. He was frustrated. Hit the rock. He was frustrated, I'm sure. I mean, we don't know why he hit the rock, but it could be a modern day Moses would hit the rock because they're frustrated, they're tired, I'm having a bad day. So once you know who you are though, you've got to know what is not acceptable. Ephesians 4, 1 says, live your life worthy of your calling. Okay, and you can say, well, my wife made me mad. That's why I put my hand in the wall. Well, Moses, you're going to sit on the backside for a while. It's time for every Moses to get back up and get in place. If you know that multitudes of people, all you have to say, y'all, come on. And all of a sudden you look around and they're all following you. Then you're a Moses, most likely. Okay, you're a Moses. Maybe you didn't realize you were a Moses, but you're going to have to then posture yourself in your home with your spouse, okay, yes, you love your spouse, you love your wife, you love your husband, you love your children, okay, in your home, okay, can be a place where you literally literally give in to fear, doubt, and unbelief. Because if your wife's not following you, then you may think, well, nobody's going to listen to me. No, you can't give in. Okay, you can't give in. You can't give in. You have to hear who God says you are. Treat your wife with loving kindness, but then know who you are and carry on as a Moses. That's why this morning God said to me, get back in your seat. And I said, oh, have I been out of my seat? And he said, yeah. This morning I... Got back in my seat. I got back in my seat because in several situations, I was out of my seat. I wasn't speaking truth that brought instruction and correction. I was just being very kind. 
And I, yes, I'm supposed to be kind, but when it's a time like this and it's a critical moment, I know I've got to speak truth to those that I am helping, ministering to, mentoring, coaching, whatever I do, pastoring. So get back in your seat and you can't let your home environment, home environment, get you out of your seat. David did it a couple of times. His home environment took him out. He gave in. You know, we give in because of unmet needs. That's another teaching. Unmet needs will cause you to give in and not stay seated in heavenly places according to who God says you are in the kingdom. Don't give in to doubt. God bless you.